Well, we're down to seven races left. We go into one of our trouble tracks in the last handful of races, and that's Kansas. We've uh, we've had some problems there. But Tony Stewart ought to be sweating. It's down to 42 points, baby. We've cut it down from over 200, now down to 42 points with seven races left. So let's go ahead and hop into it here. Best stuff to Kansas. I don't care. Best stuff to... Oh, holy. Look at this chassis, man. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, if we were ever going to win Kansas, because take a look at this engine we're going to bring. 90 engine power, 90 efficiency, and how about the body? Could be better, but 81 downforce, I like it. 88 car rating, go Dale. Hello and welcome to the Kansas Speedway for the running of the Banquet 400. Tell us a little bit about this track, Barney. Well, the track is pretty similar to Chicagoland. They were both built at the same time and added to the schedule in the same year. Not really any history built up here yet, but I'm sure there will be soon. The 83 car will attempt to build on his points lead in this race. What a great feeling that must be to have the points lead. Although you also have to think about the guys closing in behind you. One bad day at the track and you got to start climbing the ladder all over again. Tony Stewart has really shown some muscle in his qualifying this year. Yeah, but don't forget, Joe, it takes a lot of people working together to get that car starting in the top 10 every week. Kevin Grubb has been leaving some on the table in qualifying this season. And let me tell you how frustrating that is to a driver. Starting in the back of the pack all the time is kind of like only being able to drive at rush hour. You know where you want to be, but that car in front or beside of you is always in your way. Well, look who it is. Our two title contenders here on the front row. We're starting on pole, and Tony Stewart starting P2. Well, let me tell you, this thing has got some great short run speed, but I am very scared about the, the speed on the long run. Oh, man. I was hoping we had a little bit better of a restart, Garrett. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me get to this back stretch. Let me get to this back stretch. Let me show off my straightaway speed. Okay, it didn't, it didn't feel quite as fast, but that, it, I mean, let me tell you, it was pretty damn fast. If all I, if all I, all I gotta do, all I gotta do is go around these corners, and then just down the straightaways, man. Like 90 engine power, man. That's the highest we've ever had, and it's really not too bad to the corners. This thing's fast. It's fast for now. I don't know why. I've always had problems here at, at Kansas. Um, for one reason or another. I, I know I've crashed here a couple times. Um, but yeah, I, I, the long run's always been a problem here. I don't know why, but it always kind of has. The only thing this thing is lacking is downforce. To be fair, that's all my cars are always lacking because I never have quite enough downforce. Like, I got, like, a tire grips there, and the tires really try to grip up, and you can, you can tell in the corners. They're really trying. <laughs> and the engine power is really trying to... Help me go fast, and I uh, just don't got that downforce. I gotta be, I just gotta be more patient at three and four. That's the only problem. I know turn four has, like, destroyed my hopes and dreams here sometimes. There we go. We're back on track now. Like, look at that. 206. 206 going off in the corner. Good lord. It only took five seasons. Coming to lab eight, look at this gap. Four seconds. <laughs> This, this might be what, I mean, it only took five seasons, but this might be one of the best mile and a half cars I've ever driven in this game ever. Like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't handle particularly good, but, like, this is up there with the Texas rocket ship. We had another rocket ship uh, somewhere, and I can't, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was fast there, too. Dude, this thing, we've never seen 90 engine power. I, I was, I couldn't wait to use this engine, man. This is incredible. We got one blowing up. Who is it? Oh, it's tail! Um, that's not really championship implications because he's pretty far out of it at this point. But I mean, I mean, he was only like 150 back. I ain't, I ain't too terribly far in this points format. But uh, well, he's definitely gonna be out of it now. So rip. But Tony Stewart has fallen outside the top 10. It was interesting because I, 
I noticed Dale Jr. had passed him for second place. Now he's outside of top five, just like that. Tony Stewart's got to be sweating right now, man. And he hasn't, I mean, to be fair, other than, um, well, that's the thing. Every time he's had bad luck this season, I'm comparing it to last season. Every time he's had bad luck this season, I've had bad luck too. <laughs> so, I mean, we've pretty much canceled each other out. Uh, you know, unlike last season, uh, he just, he just like, what did he, I mean, he had issues at Bristol, I remember, because uh, he picked a fight. He blew up at Darlington. And that allowed us to get back in the championship hunt. This time, I've just been flat out on it and winning races and outscoring them. Tony Stewart's got to be sweating right now, sweating bullets. And so it begins. Lap traffic is here. Shout out to the Miami Dolphins boy for letting me just drive right underneath him. I appreciate that. It's a rough time because my tires have gone. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of just skating everywhere now. I mean, it's still pretty fast. Obviously, we got that straightaway speed, but it's... Uh, it's going to be tough to pull off some maneuvers here if I need to. So hopefully lap traffic is going to be kind. Not looking at anybody specific here, but um, there it goes, the right front. Oh, boy, it's bad. It is bad. I'm drifting everywhere now. Like, it is really cleft at this point. I'm starting to lose time. I mean, I only put nine seconds on everybody else, but. Oh, I'm sorry, Ron. I'm sorry. I'm trying, brother. I've kind of run out of, of uh, goody. On my tires, on on. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm running out of grip in the. I can't even drive to the try over right. I don't know what else you want me to do, game. I guess I'm pitting this time. I was out of the gas for the almost the entirety of turn four, and it still hit the wall. Yeah, it's bad. It, it's bad. All right. Well, it was fun. Yeah, I'll take some fresh tires now. Some of these other guys coming in, too. Oh, got in there pretty good. Oh, hold on. I'm still... Fuck. I didn't hit pit road. It wouldn't quit spinning, man. Looks like some extra hours in the body shop this week. Yeah, thanks. All right, well, this is going to bunch bunch everything up here. I'm going to hit pit road. So some of these guys, I guess, sorry, uh, kind of cycled in front of me here. Yeah, I'm going to come down and get some pits. Yeah, it's, take my damage. That's okay. That's okay. Tony Stewart just came back alive, man. He's, he's <laughs> Look at his chops now. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I really didn't want to do that because I had such a great lead, man. I just wanted to build on it right there, but... As soon as I got the slide, man, I knew I wasn't going to correct it before the caution came out. To be fair, I didn't go that far, that very far around, but whatever. Well, Kevin Harvick beat me out. Kurt Busch, fun. Anybody else? I know Johnny wants some. I love how I just, like, never gas it coming out of the pit road, so I let everybody else pass me. Oh, brother, 19th. Lord, give me the strength to come back up through here. Oh, brother. Hey, Johnny. My best pal, Johnny. All right, so the real question is, I guess all these guys had already hit pit road and they just stayed out, I guess. I guess that's, I guess that's what happened. I guess. That was a lot of cars already at hit pit road. All right, we're not going to do anything stupid. We're not going to do anything stupid. I got too fast of a car, and I really want to fucking win Kansas. Oh, I about lost my life. We ain't doing nothing stupid. Nothing stupid. That is the last stupid thing you're going to see me do in this video. There's ultimate best friend Kyle Petty. How we doing? Good to see you again today. I'll take this spot. Thank you very much, sir. There we go. Big old meaty run. I'm going to take it down here, I guess. I don't like it down there because it's kind of loose, but... Right by him, man. Right by him. Oh, War doesn't like me. That's okay. I think I'll get by him quick enough. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. There we go. I got enough tire grip. I was really worried. Oh. What is Sterling Marlin doing? Here we go. We're back. Bobby. Jim it. Jim it. Oh, God. Sorry. One more time, Jim it. Jeff Burton freaked me out there. Yeah, at least one more car. Just I got to get away from cars, man. Gotta, I got to get away from them. Blocking. Yeah. 
Don't be up. Don't don't be up. Don't 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 you dare get upset when I hit you. I almost hit you. I was thinking about it. I definitely could have. I still could. But but I ain't. I ain't because I'm a nice guy. That's right. Unless the cup champion coming through. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Maybe you stop blocking. Maybe you would win a Winston Cup championship. Worry about your own damn race. We'll be seeing you, Ryan. Goodbye. Well, there wasn't a lot of good things to come out of that caution. The one good thing is that this might shuffle Tony Stewart around for him to lose more spots. It also might shuffle around for him to gain more spots. Uh, that's, that's to be determined. But the one real good thing to come out of this is that those caution lamps and everything worked out to where I, I won't have to go as many uh, laps on tires which if depending on how much of that last run I added in uh, you're gonna see why that's a really good thing so honestly I mean we can we could take it pretty far here as far as like to the point where it starts cliffing where the tires just go like stupid bad like I won't have to go as deep this time which is perfect yeah I see a big pile of them just came on the pit road this time so the fuel window has opened so a lot of those guys, for whatever reason, stayed out. I don't know. Maybe they were hoping for another caution. To be fair, I mean, the odds were in their favor with me coming up through the field. But, um, yeah, now the pit window is open. Five more points. We blend the most. Hell, yeah. That's big right there. Especially since we don't see Tony Stewart in that top five, man. Every single point matters. A whole lot of them coming out here. My ass end almost just fell out. What the fuck was that? I'm okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna need a new pair of britches after that. Jesus. I'm gonna slip the damn thing over. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I think, uh... Yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to go through these knuckleheads, man. I'm pitting. And this time, I'm not bringing out a caution. I'm not, do I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not... Dude, don't hit the damn wall. That's a goofy ass pit road entrance. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fix some damage. Might as well. We got enough of it. We're gonna come down and get these freshies. And we're gonna go out there and full send. Get that lead back. Or, you know, hopefully improve the lead. Alright, boys, no pressure, man. We got a really fast car. Just make sure you get all them lugs tight and get all that fuel in there. Make sure you pull out them damn fenders. No tire rubs. There you go. 15, 16, 17. 17 flat. That was pretty good. It was a little projected a little bit more than that. All right. Oh, perfect. We got a hole to blend right up in traffic. Or, wow, well, there is no traffic. Just blend right up on the track. We good. We good. We came out just behind the leader, so shouldn't take me too long to get up in there and hopefully at least get my lap back just in case anything stupid happens. But yeah, now we only got to go, like, 17 laps on this last little run, which is not bad at all. So Kurt Bush is the leader. We're not gonna be a cock about this, are we, Kurt? Like we're we're cool, right? Like, like I can just. Oh, he he wanted to, man. He really wanted to. Why? Kurt Bush is such a dick. And of course he's coming. He could just let me have it, man. Couldn't be easy. Alright, that'll put us back on the lead lap. We'll see what we we'll recycle, man. We should cycle pretty damn good. There we go. Now we're back up here with these uh, lappers. And the good thing is, I got a lot more tire grip now. Look at this. The triple neum. Oh, God, if I don't drift. There we go. We got him. All in one shot, baby. That's how we do it. Ooh, man, that was scary. <laughs> there you go, Hermy. Ooh, I might be able to get Ashton Lewis. There we go. Nothing stupid. Nothing stupid. There we go. We'll run on just in case anybody wants to get themselves some pits. Brian, watch your ass. Get drove around. Here we go, Christian. Don't be, don't, 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 don't be a dick. Don't be a dick. There we go. Right by P3. Oh, we're going to cycle right here, baby. There it is. To the lead. No, oh, man, we got to roll down. All right. Last pit stop, Robert Gore just kind of yeoman out of there. All right, well, I don't know what the gap is, but I would imagine it's pretty solid. Oh, man, we might actually do this, man. Nine seconds, nine and a half almost. We good. Just nothing stupid, man, nothing stupid. 
He's gonna go out here. We got some lap traffic. We got some thick lap traffic here in front of us. He's gonna take her time through because we still got a handful of laps left. I don't particularly want to sit behind him. After that, man, we got like two car. Hey, Steve. What are we doing, Casey? Like what? What are you doing, man? Oh, Steve, Steve's inching over, trying to kill me. Oh, oh, it opened up. Or we could just do that right up, right by everybody. Hell yeah. Oh. Damn, how much does Ward dislike me? Oh, not enough. We're good. Just can't hit him. All right, Ward. It was fun. We'll be seeing it nice and easy. Oh, man, almost did a little drifty action in there. That thing's pretty good one and two, man. Three and four, it's a little scary, but it's, uh... I can't get over how damn good this car is, man. It's how fast it is. Once again, it's not good, but it's it's just fast. It's it's uh it's a uh, it's a good balance of uh I mean it's it's where you want it to be. It doesn't handle good, but it's fucking fast. Oh yeah, we'll get them on the front stretch. All four tires yellow. It's a little scary at this point, but we're still rolling. Chase. Light flag. Nothing stupid. Nothing stupid. Yeah, what he said. We're good. We're good. We just got to get through three and four. We're good. My, my drift a little bit, but we're good. Man, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I didn't uh, I didn't know what to expect coming in here, but um, we're going to do it. A track we've never really come close to winning at. <laughs> Kansas, baby. Yes. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's real easy to say after I already won a Winston Cup championship. Might do it a second time in a row here, but thanks. Oh, hell yeah, man. Oh, feels so good. I don't know if it's going to put us in the championship lead, but we're going to be close. We're going to be real close. Hell yeah, Kansas. This track sucks ass, but, man, we figured out how to go fast here. Oh, yeah. Nice big old logo. Let me tear this up real quick. Uh, banquet 400 sounds good to me gonna be eating good tonight boys we've done it Kansas it's great to be here it's great to be here let me see that trophy let me see a trophy I'm so excited to add, add a new one to the trophy case I hope it's cool I hope it's something cool it's probably not gonna be something cool but I hope it's something cool boys phenomenal job today there it is. I knew it was going to be something lame. I mean, that's kind of cool, but... Like, what is that? It's like a toothpick. Here's the golden toothpick. Congratulations, you won Kansas. It looks more like a like a brace or something. Like something to lean on. I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, well... Wow, Kansas night. Cool. Holy money. I have so much money, I, I can't even do anything with it. That's a good problem to have. Race stats. Tony Stewart finished six, just outside the top five. So, uh, 47 laps led. Most, most, uh, yeah, we got um, uh, max points. Always, always gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Tony Stewart never led a lap, which is good. We'll scroll down here and show you a look at the rest of the field here. So, uh, how many laps is this race? 66. So, we had 13 on the lead lap. Imagine if that caution didn't come out. Holy damn. Oh, yeah, look at dude, Chase, Chase Montgomery. Look at him. 15th. Good stuff. Proud of him. Take a look at the rest of it here. All the way down to down our junior. And Ricky Craven also didn't quite make it. So now we got the UAW GM Quality 500 at Lowe's Motor Speedway. We have won at Charlotte before. We can do it again. We're probably going to have to do it again. Oh. <laughs> Seven points. Tony Stewart better be sweating now, boy. Seven points. Only six races left, too. Oh, man. So let's give you a look at it. So the remaining races, we've got Charlotte, Martinsville, Atlanta, Phoenix, Rockingham, and Homestead, Miami. So it's definitely up and down for us, but uh, seven points, man. I'm confident. I'm very confident. Well, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's race. On to Charlotte. Six races remain seven points away.